I'm sure that individual is very talented, kind, and awesome, but we're here for one reason. Well, I'm here for one reason. I am so confused as to why Disney, on all their shows, throw in that much post-production. Like, come on, that's just obviously auto-tune. And I don't think he needs it. That guy just woke up. Let me see some Chloe Halley. Come on. So, like, sister act stuff aside, look at how ridiculously comfortable they are in front of a camera. That's not exactly an acting skill per se, but it does matter a lot when you're on film versus when you're on a stage. Uh, for uh, an example of how stage doesn't always translate, look at like John Travolta when he's not in Greece. His movements and his actions are so big, it looks weird. Um, great actor, great actor. But like all of the motions that he does are very appropriate for theater. This is a very hype scene right here. Right? So this is a hype scene here. And they're dancing and it's like very, very like heightened. But they're not being ridiculous. So let's take a look at some of their experience on camera here, which is boop. Is this the one? No, that's that one. And then there's this one. Okay. My apologies for the video quality. What kind of name is that? A cool one. Spell it. T A T A Nisha. Okay, remind me to never ask you to help me with my spelling word. I mean, the best, the best teacher for anything is going to be experience. And clearly they got it at a very, very young start. And you can see, same thing here, they're not going crazy. Like, Klein and Halley have been performing on relatively sizable stages from a very young age. They're not bringing that sort of performance to the camera, which is good. And I don't want—I don't want to dissect too much children acting, um, because they're kids and they don't have a lot of years in the skill yet. Um, but there are some other things we can look at that Hallie has done when she's older. So. You want to talk? Yeah. So, I was, I was out with my sister and her boyfriend tonight, and I think I figured out what's been bothering me. It's their connection. And what does their connection have to do with us? Theirs is rooted in a shared cultural experience, because both of them are black. We'll never have that. And no matter how hard I try, I just I can't seem to get past it. Well, well, guess you figured it out then. But the other thing that I can't seem to get past is how much I like you and how much I can't stop thinking about you. She just turned that around real fast. So I like how her delivery is so plain, which is good. Uh, it's mature for a young actor or actress to be able to calmly deliver. I think people are, get too interested in emoting and showing emotion, but she's not focused on herself in this scene. She's focused on communicating 
with her other scene partner, which is what you would do in real life, <laughs> right? Like you wouldn't go to your scene partner and be like, oh, I feel failings. No, it's like you're going to talk to the person. So I think the delivery being planned is really good. And then the switch to this, where I like you a lot, I do enjoy, she is very serious about the cultural stuff that I, you know, don't dare comment on. Um, but she she is able to deliver the gravitas and then change what in acting school you'd call a beat, just a change in, in topic and strategy. So which side outweighs the other? Okay, if I still call you Rodney. No. <laughs> That's great. Woo! That last one felt good! Yeah, but those first 17 didn't. Is something wrong? With me? Yeah. I think you should be asking you that question because I'm not the one who showed up to practice 20 minutes late for the third time this week. So I like how quickly they shift from uh, moment to moment. Woo! Good mood, celebrating. That last one felt good. Yeah, but those first 17 didn't. She's bringing her down. Is something wrong with me? Yeah. I think you should be asking you that question because I'm not the one who showed up to practice 20 minutes late for the third time this week. Sorry, I was coming from Doug's. And you know how they put the black dorms all the way across campus. Yeah. I what I like here too is uh, my favorite acting teacher who is always amazing. Um, it's a vulnerable choice to not lash back. Um, and she would always say, where's the love? right? Where's the love in the scene? So the fact that Chloe doesn't lash back is, is with the, with the words, even if she didn't get direction to, or even if she did get direction for that, it was really, really a strong choice. The one who showed up to practice 20 minutes late for the third time this week. Sorry, I was coming from Doug's and you know how they put the black dorms all the way across campus. Yeah, I know exactly who you were with. It's the same person you're with every time you're late. Sky, chill out. Come to Luke. Cause and see it in person. No, you know I'm staying in. All right, so let me see what you're wearing first. Then. Let me see what you. Oh, is that a onesie? You really wasn't planning on seeing me tonight, huh? <laughs> I've been out with you almost every night this week, and plus I have practice tomorrow. But I'll get to see you this weekend. No. See you. Please take me off this call list. Uh, you're not going out tonight. <sighs> no. Yeah. I figured I'd get some rest. Mm hmm You know, stay in. Oh. Oh. Okay. time sleeping in your own bed you'd know to sneak in earlier than this huh. I'm always up by now look i shouldn't have to sneak out like i did or sneak in like i'm doing and i certainly don't have to answer to you that's right because you only answer to doug why do you keep bringing up doug he has nothing to do with this you're right i'm sorry this isn't on doug this is on you how come you can't see that you're letting your relationship get in the middle of everything we've worked so hard yeah, for? yeah but you this is, like, she earned this, right? Like, Hallie, with her character, with her choices, like, she's been calm in the last few interactions over this. And so what I like, what I like about that, what it tells me is that she can act real, right? Like, you don't, when you first start talking to someone, you only lash out at them when you're seriously angry, right? And so... There's the where to the love, where's the love that I talked about here, where they're not really going after each other, and she's she her delivery is very straight to the point, um, very simple, and she's been trying to get this 
get her sister to act in a way that she believes is more responsible. And then when however many tactics didn't work, she shamed her here. She trusted her here. Right? And then trust is broken. Your own bed? You'd know to sneak in earlier than this. I'm always up by now. Look, I shouldn't have to sneak out like I did or sneak in like I'm doing. And I certainly don't have to answer to you. That's right, because you only answer to Doug. Why do you keep bringing up Doug? He has nothing to do with this. You're right. I'm sorry. This isn't on Doug. This is on you. How Dang, that's a savage line. How come you can't see that you're letting your relationship get in the middle of everything we work so hard yeah, for? Yeah, but you're in a relationship too. Yeah, but I know how to balance track in my Rodney, okay? I'm not the one showing up to practice 20 minutes late. So what are you saying? That I should get rid of my relationship and break up with Doug? What I'm saying right now is that you don't sound like the same person who claimed to love track more than anything. Are you so, I mean... I don't care about track and nothing will ever make me care about track. Uh, but it's clearly important to Ali. And I like how immediately after she lashes out, she reins it back in. I can't see that you're letting your relationship get in the middle of everything we've worked so hard yeah, for. Yeah, but you're in a relationship too. Yeah, but I know how to balance track in my Rodney, okay? I'm not the one showing up to practice 20 minutes late. So what are you saying? That I should get rid of my relationship and break up with Doug? What I'm saying right now is that you don't sound like the same person who claimed to love track more than anything. How you doing? That delivery is really good. To go from accusation and then to live to deliver that in like compassionate way. She's still hurt and she's still kind of like stabbing at Chloe a little bit, but right now is that you don't sound like the same person who claimed to love track more than anything. And she, you can even hear in the tone of her voice and then the breathing. Like, she goes from very calm, very straightforward delivery to trying, like, she lashes out a little bit, Chloe, and then this delivery of, like, being hurt by her sister. That's a really clean transition. Um, none of these scenes, I mean, the scene that we just reviewed was, was like, a really good one. I love how... She's just, she's acting as she would, uh, she's believable, right? She's believable. She's not flailing her hands up in the air, telling us how emotional she is. She's talking to the people in the scene in the given circumstances of the character, right? It's, I think it's pretty well done.